Resizing an Azure virtual machine with PowerShell is actually really very simple. So let's see what we can do with it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is connect to our Azure RM account, which I've already done in this case. And then we're going to use the get Azure RM VM commandlet in order to get some details of our virtual machine that we want to target. So if we run that line three and look at the virtual machine variable, we'll notice that we've got test VM one there that's a standard B1S size. So Next thing we're going to need to do is to find out what sizes of virtual machines are available to us in, within our region. So we're going to use the get Azure RM VM size command here in order to do that. And that will list out all of the virtual machine sizes that are available to us. So once we've got the size that we want to apply, we're going to look and set the VM size variable within that virtual machine detail. So if we look to see what's there at the moment, We've got the standard B1S in that option. So if we run this whole line of code and then go back and look at that variable again, we'll notice that that's changed from a B1S to a B2S. So we're going to then take that virtual machine variable and feed it into the update Azure RM VM commandlet in order to make the changes to that virtual machine. This can take quite a while to run because it needs to restart the virtual machine and change all the settings. So now that that's come back, if we run the get Azure RM VM command again, we'll see that that virtual machine is now a standard B2S. So in order to make this even easier for us, we could build this into a function so that we can reuse the code going forwards. So if we replace the hard-coded variables we had in there before with the variables from the function, and on the update Azure RM VM commandlet, we can use the as job parameter in order to make this a little bit quicker for us. So now that we've made those small changes, if we load that function, we should be able to run it at the command line. And there we go, that should be now running and changing that machine from a standard B2S to a standard B1S again. So now if we run the command that we used before to get the Azure RM VM for that virtual machine, we should now see that this machine has now changed from a standard B2S to a standard B1S. Thanks for watching.